Second by Brown. Hogan, good hassle. Keeps it in the area. Garlett jumps in. Still a chance. Neil Bullen smothered this time. Hannum. First game, 23 years of age, walking to the big time. Kept it going, Melbourne. Kept the pressure on. And in the end, they get reward for effort. A really good little handball there from Wiedemann. Mm -hmm. Took it cleanly. Here it is here. This is Mitch Hannon. I think he had a shoulder reconstruction in the off-season, so he hadn't played a lot of footy, but absolutely dominated apparently last week against Casey and really forced his way into the team. Didn't want to punch either. He knew it was his. Watts might not punch from 3D by the... Got it down to ground. Hannon. Unbelievable pickup on the run from a guy playing his first game. And that's his second goal. Well, John, I think you can see why he's in the team after that. Wow. Uh, I spoke to Simon Goodwin before the game. As we see, uh, a terrific effort here from Tom McDonald. Really good effort. And then a good launch in. But I spoke to Simon Goodwin before the game. He just said they couldn't not pick him. His form last week. Jeez, he barely had that ball yeah. in his hand, did he? It was... Uh, Terrific finish, but he played very, very well last week for Casey. Kicked some goals and forced his way in, and that's a terrific finish. Well, what's good strength against Blitzars? Mackey. He couldn't get released quick enough. Duncan, that's a terrific cutoff and intercept from Neil Fallen. Now Henderson's got the job ahead of him here. Oh! And Hannon kicks a goal, and it could be a critical one. It's a big third quarter. Hannon, who looked most likely, but Hannon's going to kick a goal. And that's three for Mitch Hannon, who started the season really well in round one and then just couldn't quite back that up after a week back at Casey. He's uh, been excellent today. Well, he's competed. He's worked hard. He, he, he makes the contest here in the pack. Doesn't have a huge impact on it, but he keeps his feet and stays in the play. Ends the mark, so he gains another meter or two. Long ball, Thompson over the back, missed the lot around the corner here. Hannon kicks the goal. His first ever goal at the G. He's hit the post three times, but he's never ever kicked the goal. But it's giving everyone a chance to get into position as Viney goes the long ball, top of the square. Uh, Great body use here by Hannon, who's about to kick his second. You wonder who was going to mark the ball deep forward. There, not many of the tall Melbourne forwards have looked dangerous. This bit of a box time. on here as well, Lee, behind the yeah. play. And as we see, Jack Viney and Vine involved in it as Hannon takes the mark and completes that. Hannon now for his second goal in as many minutes. Got it, no problems at all. Back to 14. Couldn't quite get there. Vince. Gets the ball, takes it cleanly, works it into a dangerous spot. Important hand by Swallow. Did really well then. Vickers Willis, smothered ball. Petrarca about the place. Might be able to finish it off. Just needs to pick it up. Fires it inside. Tyson quickly. Hannon, third for the turn for him. Fourth for the Demons. They really haven't got the free. They're all one on one. In fact, two on one here, but somehow Hannon makes it work. He's off like a rocket. The kick to Bug. Basically playing high half forwards, but their starting point is is half back. Oscar McDonald's kick, Wits there over the top. Hannon, what a specky from Mitch Hannon, and what an introduction to football he's had in the AFL this season. Yeah, have a look at this grab. This is what you want to see. Jared Wits, the biggest man on the field, made look very very short. Nice ride from Hannon. He's certainly made an impact. Low into the pocket. Garlett used the body. Some try to spoil. Clean pick up by Bug. Hannon onto the left boot. Snapping oh. back towards goal. Sensational finish from Mitch Hannon, who's now got through. He sent time in forward half for Melbourne in this quarter. That is an absolute domination. Garlett across the face. Got rid of one tackle. Centering ball. Almost there. Hannon. Shot. Got it. Look at the Melbourne fans get out of their seat. Jones just had to squeeze the kick a bit. Bug, clever little tap. There was demons everywhere, and one of them was Hannon. So here's the first goal. Bug taps it out. He goes over. Petrie 
Petrarca hasn't seen a lot of footy, hadn't picked it up and then got boots a ball cleanly and kicked a goal, I think, Mitch Hannon. Brilliant effort. Goal from nowhere. And they've done that tonight, the Ds. They haven't needed a lot of opportunity. Mitch Hannon has been a goal kicker. And that is a good sign that no issues with the hip complaint that we saw in the first quarter. Gee, how quickly did he get that to boot? That was a magnificent effort from Mitch Hannon. They've found a player here. A goal kicker. Good for a goal and a half a game, Mitch Hannon. He's been a real find this season. One of the reasons Melbourne's getting better. Let's have a look at this again. How quick did he get that to his boot? Left boot, Mitch Hannon. Real find for Melbourne. You need players bobbing up. Out of nowhere. And that's where their improvement's coming from this season. It doesn't get any better, Lewis. Back to full forward. McDonald looks well placed. Got there with Hogan. Skirting the pack was Hannon. And he gets it together and puts it through. And there's more high fives for the Ds. He's just class, this kid. He knows where the goals are. He's found a space. Squeezed it through. And you can talk all you like about high numbers for Port Adelaide. Most of their numbers are in the back half and they are amounting to absolutely nothing. That is just a quality goal. This is just a magnificent performance by what? Melbourne. And it's, it's impossible to believe that Port Adelaide are putting up this show. Every club has had a mulligan. And maybe we're going to just have to put that down for Port Adelaide at the moment if it continues. Back against the grain, got it back to Gala. Big moment this, Vince, short pocket. Settle it down, have the shots to goal. Jeff Garlett just went to ground, he had to keep his feet, he had his opponent Geary on the ground, then lost his own balance. It's the one that can stand up when they're tired in the contest, it'll come out on top. Well, Mitch Hannon was rested last week, didn't play. He should have some spark left. Has he got a goal on him? For a 16-point margin, it's coming back. Spectacular. Inspirational. That's not a big day, Mitch Hannon. That's just his eighth possession. But he's got his first goal. This is the one I was talking about with Garlett. You've got your opponent on the ground, and he just goes to ground far too easily, takes himself out of the contest. Melbourne, fortunately, thanks to some good work from Neville Jett, to get a second go at it. And Harms chips the ball to Hannon, who, whilst he hasn't had much of a day, so you kick a couple of critical goals in the last turn, you can help get your team over the line. That is a big kick. A huge kick. Just got to grab your moments now. And he's done that, hasn't he? The left footer from the pocket that he normally wouldn't like. And he's given this side a 16-point buffer. So the Saints have got to at least find three goals to have any chance. Pedersen doing the ruck work. He's out of the middle through Dom Tyson with a high ball up towards half forward, towards Hannon again. Well, you talk about moments, Lindsay. He might have two in a minute. Yeah. But importantly, 6-2, the clearance is in favour of the Ds in the fourth quarter. That's where St Kilda got on top of them in the third. It certainly did. That's a huge grab. Harms and Hannon could be the bookends. One in the first term <laughs> and Hannon in the last. The angle not as acute. The distance, similar. The drop punt on its way. It looks good. It looks good, and it is. They come from everywhere. As Hannon gives the Demons a 22-point lead. That's well, three goals now. Unanswered for Melbourne. And as you said, Jace, clearances. Great jump and tap from Pedersen. And put pressure on the defence. Get it in deep. You don't always expect that, but that's what you like. Young Hannon, great jump. Two on one situation, good grab.